told you to stay away. Demonic Dahlia. What are her pros and cons? Do I think she's worth that price tag? And what would I rate her on a 1 to 10 scale? I will be letting you know all of that in today's review video of Demonic Dahlia. Alright, so you guys know that I absolutely love the possessed props. This is the kind of thing that is right up my alley. So as soon as I saw the sneak peek, I was super excited to purchase Demonic Dahlia myself. Now, I have seen her in person at the flagship store, and I've now bought her for myself and set her up myself. So what do I think now? Does she still live up to my expectations, and what are my personal thoughts on her? Okay, I'm going to get into all of that today. Um, I'm going to be doing a shorter style uh, review video, so I hope that you guys enjoy that. Just discussing the pros and cons, talking about the price, talking about things that I think about it and uh, then just giving you guys a 1 to 10 ranking at the end of the video so it's not going to be this 20 minute category situation because I know those just were painstakingly long and none of that was necessary. So first I'll jump into the pros. We'll talk about the good stuff first. Uh, Demonic Dahlia is absolutely terrifying. The appearance is awesome. It's unique. We haven't really seen a look like this before. She has these gashes along her cheeks that come up from her the corners of her mouth which look absolutely terrifying. She has some regular looking teeth but they still are really creepy and realistic nonetheless. Blood red all around the mouth. Then she just has these very basic eyes that are white colored. They do not light up, that's one thing to factor in, um, but they do have a little bit of red coloring on the corners there. And she just has this really decrepit and disgusting look, the way that her face is all scrunched up. She kind of has some brown detailing coming down from the eyes, which is nice. Uh, but for the most part, the, the face is pretty much just this pale, possessed look. It looks like the life has just been taken out of this thing. Um, and she really has this ghostly appearance. She also has these really awesome realistic hands as well. And the outfit design is really nice and fitting too. It has this gray look with all this rusted color on it, buttons as well, and it has an IR sensor hidden as one of those. Also, the black hair is very fitting. So overall, for appearance, I think that this girl definitely gets a pro for that. Um, it turned out really well, and it fits her well. It's, again, it's simplistic, um, but it gives this ghost-like appearance. Then uh, I guess we'll discuss the audio real quick. Um, this is uh, kind of falls into the con side a little bit. I probably should have saved this for later, but she does only have one phrase that she says over and over at every activation. She says, I told you to stay away, and that is it. Now, don't get me wrong, I do like how she says it. It has this really demonic uh, way that it says it. It's um, scratchy and deep and um, clearly a possessed thing going on there. So it definitely is going to scare away people and make them wonder what the heck is going on. Um, so it's a very creepy voice and the voice is fitting. The voice acting is decent. Um, however, it is the only phrase that she says. I kind of would have liked to have seen maybe like two, like we got on Floating Ghost Girl, because that's the other thing. She does have the recycled scream from Floating Ghost Girl with maybe a few different add-ons in there. Um, but that scream is really fitting. So I would say that that's a pro part of it. Um, and that would have been fine if they always used that scream. But yeah, it's a little bit of a con that she only gets one phrase. Although for the most part, the audio is fitting and there's not any major issues with that. Um, and also the animation. This is a big pro for her. Uh, she has this very unique animation that we, this is the first time seeing it this year. Two props got it this year, Jack Straw and Demonic Dahlia. She goes from a sitting to standing motion. It is very fast. The videos are not sped up um, and it is an awesome, authentic jump scare. We've had a lot of amazing jump scare props this year and Demonic Dahlia is definitely one of them. She's probably, along with Bloodthirsty Betty, one of the scariest props this year. So not the most family friendly one if you're not trying to scare away the kids. Um, so that is kind of a pro for me because she definitely gives a terrifying um, effect when she pops. Um, and yes, so the sitting to standing thing is really, really awesome. You definitely have to put a weight on her to hold her down, um, but it also says that in the instructions. So I wouldn't uh, say that's any issue. Um, but yeah, so she pops up really, really quickly and hopefully we'll find out with time if that is durable or not. It's kind of hard for me to speak on durability when I'm just first time buying these props, but I have a feeling that she will do well. She hasn't had any clicking or any issues so far and I've activated her quite a few times. Um, so I don't think that that will be a problem. Uh, and yeah, the motion is really, really quick. She stands, um, pretty tall as well. She gets up to 5.7 feet. So she's about five foot eight, which is definitely a very life-size large animal. Animatronic. She definitely has um, a pro for the size. It's definitely not too small. Um, it's very perfect sizing and she actually stands up quite far because right now in the seated position, I mean, she's just a little bit taller than me sitting. Um, but then, you know, I would, I couldn't say exactly how many feet she rises up, but I would guess about two or three. Um, and it really just comes absolutely out of nowhere. Also, I have her head lifted up right now. It's not technically supposed to be like that. She starts with her head facing down and the face pops up and scares you. So it has all of that going on for it. So a lot of pros there. That's 
that's probably all of the pros that I have for her. Um, everything about the design, the animation, and the audio is pretty much decent, except for the fact that the audio only has one phrase. The only one uh, con that I would say for her is that she has an extremely long retraction time. The retraction time is probably five times just the rest of the animation, um, and it does have this spooky laugh to go along with it, and that's not bad. It does fit it pretty well, um, but it goes on for almost a, comic, a comical amount of time. It goes on for quite some time, um, and definitely, you know, if you have a lot of people going through a haunted house at once, some people might miss that jump scare. So that is definitely one con to consider. But other than that, Demonic Dahlia is one of my top favorites for this year. She is freaking awesome. She has a $200 price tag, $199.99. And I would say for something like this, it's definitely worth it. I mean, we saw it with Floating Ghost Girl a few years back. She was like 150 or 160. And I would say that that had less impressive animation than this girl. I mean, this thing goes from sitting to standing. It goes super fast. It's an authentic jump scare. Has an amazing design. She's pretty large um, and definitely built well. So I would say $200 is what we should have expected for something like this, and I'm definitely not disappointed with that at all. I'd 100% say that she is worth that money, especially with a 20% off coupon, because I would say they could have had her at about maybe 180 would have been fair, but with that 20% off coupon, you can basically get it down to that. And um, so yeah, I would say she is worth the price. Definitely would recommend her for that price. Not all of them are this year, so Demonic Dahlia is definitely one to snag. So at the end of the day, um, what would I rank Demonic Dahlia? I would probably say I would give her about an eight out of 10. The only reason I'm taking off stuff is because especially because of that really, really long retraction time and because she only has that one phrase. And also, it doesn't have a lot of animation going for it. I mean, it does have that incredible sitting to standing motion, but unlike Jack Straw, her arms do not move outwards and also uh, her eyes don't light up or anything. Jack Straw's, I believe, do, and I definitely prefer light up eyes. So I'm just giving her a solid eight out of 10, not because I dislike her at all, but just taking off a couple points because there definitely are a few design features that could be better. But other than that, Demonic Dahlia is one of the best ones for this year and definitely one of the top ranked ones um, in my personal list. If you are thinking of purchasing Demonic Dahlia, who I definitely highly recommend, there will be a link to Spirit Halloween's website down below where you can get her or anything else on the website, and that is the place to shop. Uh, if you buy anything on that link, you'll be helping out me and the channel, and there will of course be an up-to-date 20% off coupon to make these prices a little bit less scary. There will also be a link to my Instagram and a link to the HGJ Halloween merch shop if you want to check out any HGJ Halloween designs. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's review. Let me know what you would rate Demonic Dahlia on a 1 to 10 scale and just what you think of her in general. She's personally one of my favorites, um, but I would definitely love to know what you guys think. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one.